Once you have selected the model that you wish to publish, click the three dots and select Publish. You will then see a window containing the viewer customization options that you control. The settings that are selected by default work for most purposes, so we will skip that for now and address these options in detail in another video. Next, click Copy Embed. This will copy the embed code to your browser's clipboard. Then, paste the code into your website, just like you would with a YouTube video, and you're all set. What is really great about this is that any changes made to the model within BioDigital will apply to the model that you've embedded. Our models are cloud-based and therefore dynamic, meaning you do not have to republish a model once you make changes to it. This makes it much easier to maintain your content. Next, we will talk about the standalone URL option. Because the viewer is essentially a small web page, it can operate independently from other web pages or applications and can be opened in your browser as a standalone URL. If you would like to give learners direct access to one of your 3D models and don't need it to be embedded into a web page, select Copy URL when you publish it. This will generate a link that you can paste into a web page, email, or document. Here's a little helpful tip. If you're providing a link to a 3D model, instead of embedding it into a web page, you may want to publish a 2D image of the model and then hyperlink the image to the 3D model. This is how we recommend integrating 3D models into platforms such as PowerPoint, where iframes are not supported. To do this, first, copy the URL to your 3D model from the 3D Embeddable tab. Then, click on the Image tab from the Publish window. You will see a few settings options that you can customize, such as background color or opacity, size, and label scale. For this example, we will download a copy locally. Once you have downloaded the image, you can add this image into your PowerPoint or other location that does not allow for embedding 3D models. Next, use the URL that you copied to hyperlink the image to your 3D model. Just a note, since the image is downloaded locally, make sure to update the image if you make significant changes to your 3D model. Thank you for joining me. For additional tutorial articles and videos, as well as best practices, please visit our Help Center at support.biodigital.com.